In this Sunday's second reading, St. Paul writes about how we are all baptised by the one Spirit into one body. He goes on to say that the body does not consist of one member, but of many. He conveys the message that through our baptism we are all part of the body of Christ. We are all called by name. We each have a role to play in the body of Christ. Each of our roles is important. No one role, big or small, is more important than another. The question for each of us to reflect on is how do we play our role? How do we fulfil God's mission here on earth? Donald Harrington, the Irish theologian, uses the expression of activating our baptism. We are generally baptised as babies. As we mature, we are able to make choices and decisions for ourselves. When we activate our baptism, our faith becomes real and not just words. We are filled with the Spirit and see with Jesus' eyes. Saint Teresa puts this beautifully in her prayer. Christ has no body now on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the eyes through which the compassion of Christ must look out on the world. Yours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good. When we think of our baptismal calling in this way, we can get a sense that our role in the body of Christ is played out in our everyday lives, around the family table, with our colleagues, our friends, and the people we encounter on a daily basis. It is very often the little things that stand out during our daily encounters. Perhaps someone smiled at us. Perhaps we experienced a kind word that changed the complexion of our day. Patrick Kavanagh captures this in his poem, The Great Hunger. God is in the bits and pieces of every day, a kiss here and a laugh again, and sometimes tears, a pearl necklace around the neck of poverty. There is a lovely expression based on words from St. Francis of Assisi. You may be the only gospel that some people will ever read. God reaches us through each other. There is so much ministering that takes place every day in families and relationships but we don't always appreciate it in this way. I invite you to reflect for a few moments on the adapted words of this poem by an unknown author. I saw Jesus last week. He was wearing blue jeans and an old shirt. He was up at the church. He was alone and working hard. For just a minute, he looked a little like one of our parishioners, but it was Jesus. I could tell by his smile. I saw Jesus yesterday. He was at the hospital visiting a friend who was sick. They prayed together quietly. For just a minute, he looked like our parish priest, but it was Jesus. I could tell by the tears in his eyes. I saw Jesus this morning. He was in my kitchen, making me breakfast. He then prepared a special lunch for me to take with me. For just a minute, he looked like my mam, but it was Jesus. I could feel the love from his heart. I saw Jesus the other day. He was at the supermarket talking to a friend. He then put his arms around them to comfort them. For just a minute, he looked like a woman in our street, but it was Jesus. I could see the concern for others who hurt. I see Jesus everywhere, taking food to the sick, welcoming others to his home, being friendly to a newcomer. And for just a minute, I think he's someone I know, but it's always Jesus. I can tell by the way he serves. If we were to stop and reflect on our own lives, what gospel would people read in us? What message do we convey through our words and actions? How do our families, our friends, the strangers we encounter, experience God's love through us? Mm -hmm.